What is up guys? The day is January 11th. The clock strikes 3.30 p.m. Not sure why that was important, but the January 11th part is important because today was the premiere of the Nagatoro dub and I decided to watch it. Yes, I decided to either love myself for a day because I put myself through this or hate myself for a day because I put myself through this. I'll let you know which one it was by the end. Before we start this off, I will say that these are first impressions. Immediately after watching the first episode, my mind could always change down the line. I could have a different view on these characters later. Maybe I didn't like their performance here and they could be better later, or maybe I liked their performance here and they could change later. So yeah, pretty much this just off the first episode if you're watching this in the future. First off, the sub voice for Nagatoro is perfect. In fact, the voices for pretty much all the characters in the sub are great. So the dub had a lot to live up to going into this. So I started watching it. I was sitting there waiting for the first words in English. I braced myself as I normally don't watch anime and dub. It's always a shock to me to hear English words. I'm just kidding. It's it's a little sub elitist joke there, but no, it, it still is kind of not off because it's not bad by any means. Like dubs are fine, but it's just like since I'm so used to watching anime and sub, I'm like, when's the English gonna hit? When's it gonna hit? And then I heard two random girls in, in the show that aren't important at all, but they're the first people to speak. And one of the girls said, hey, check it out. Cool, right? And the other girl went, ah. And when I heard that, I was like, yes, they're talking about the dub itself. I'm gonna show someone the dub, be like, mm, cool, right? And they're gonna be like, oh my God. Now, can I actually tell it's gonna be good off of that? No. Did I use it as a good omen anyways? Yes. Now I'm just gonna go through, I guess, a few of the characters and my thoughts on them and in it, because that's really all I can say. I don't want to talk about the contents of the episode itself, because we all know. I mean, we've all seen the episode. We've read the manga. We might have seen the episode again if we decided to watch it in dub or sub, depending on what we watched it first. So this is not my first rodeo with this specific part of the story. But yeah, with that said, Gamo, I will start off with her, because I always imagined her in the manga having more of a rough voice or a more tomboyish voice and i think the dub portrays that pretty well i wouldn't say it's like a rough voice but it's like closer to an average male voice not trying to sound like you know girls can have deep voices or anything but you know what i mean like it just sounds not like a girly girl voice yoshi's voice i think is pretty great it, it's cute it, and it just fits her vibe i knew senpai would be pretty great fast because he went to reach for the door in part of the episode and his first lines were <sighs> Oh. And from that whimpering-ish noise in his voice alone, I could tell that the torch of Senpai would be in great hands. But then I heard his voice actually speak, and it felt like too manly of a voice. As if the voice actor, I, I don't know who he is by the way, normally doesn't get timid roles, is what I'm guessing. But he still put off Senpai to the best of his ability, so props. Sakura's voice is decent, don't really have an opinion on it, so yeah. The whole time watching though, I was impatiently waiting for Hayase Nagatoro to speak. You hear her say like a sentence at the start, but I don't like to judge off of that. I'd rather judge off a whole scene. And then we get to the scene where Nagatoro brings Senpai to tears and all that. And I don't know, Nagatoro in the sub just had the sauce. This Nagatoro isn't bad by any means. She just feels off. And I don't think the voice matches Nagatoro at all. Like I don't hear that voice and see the mouth moving and I try to match the voice to the face, but it just feels wrong. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to offend anyone who worked on it because like the voice acting itself is good. I think it's just a shock thing because when you're used to one voice and then you hear another, you know, you're just like, wow. It's like that one character in uh, Persona 5, uh, Takami, whose voice was switched to a different voice actor in Royal. And I remember when I first played Royal, I was like, oh, what the heck? But now I'm more used to her Royal voice than her original. So it could be one of those things. I was also waiting to see if she said sus in this version at all. And I remember everyone was freaking out when she said sus in the subs. And I just found it really funny. But God damn it, she said sketchy instead of sus. This is some bullshit. The dub is ruined. I'm kidding. But yeah, all jokes aside, I'll just say the dub is not for me. The voice actors did their thing. Maybe it could have been casted better. I feel like a couple of the voice actors didn't fit the roles. And I'd hate to compare, but for example, Samere Uisaka is just the perfect Nagatoro pick, and the rest of the characters seem to have been done quite splendidly. And it felt like that casting was right. And I don't want to be too hard, because I know the dubbing process can be a hard one. Don't even get me started on the rap that dubs can get for little things, like Yoshi's voice. I think it's fine, but people are going to hear that and be like, oh, it sounds weird. But I think it's just because it's in English that it just sounds weird to hear the cutesy archetype thing. I don't know. And then just for other things, like the way that Nagatoro said senpai, I feel like people aren't going to like. I thought it was a little odd 
awkward, but I think she'll improve. I mean, it's the first episode. I don't even know what the problem is. I don't think she's saying Sempa, like with an M instead of an M. I don't know. Maybe she is. I, I can't really tell. I don't know. I just feel like it it's tough being a dubber, man. It's probably so tough. But uh, I probably won't be watching the rest. If it makes you guys feel better, I still haven't finished the original version. Maybe I'll go watch it right now to get this taste of dirty dub out of my mouth. Pleh. That's a That's a joke, by the way, if you didn't know that thing that you can't make these days because people get offended. To finish this off, I will say that if I came into this blind without watching the original or reading the manga, I would probably enjoy it more. Because like I said, their performances are all right. I just don't watch dubs as often because I watch a lot of shows when they come out and I just overall enjoy subs more unless the dub is stellar. But if you're a dub man, I think you can get through Nagatoro's dub without hating life, wanting to jump off a bridge. Or maybe not. I don't know. You're your own person. You can make your own opinions. Why are you even listening to mine? Also, at the end of the day, whether you hate the dub or not, remember this is still a huge W. As a dub equals more money and a bigger audience, which leads to more seasons to Nagatoro, I am praying. Because the anime has yet to cover peak Nagatoro. Or introduce the GOAT. But that's really all I got. Overall, yeah, like I like I said, the dub is fine, just not for me. And I think dub watchers will not mind it, especially if they hate subs. Now, how do I feel that the sub audience will react to this? Probably not well. They'll probably hate it. I don't really care either way. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, please subscribe if you feel like it. You know, I'm not... I'm not telling you, I'm just asking politely. And have a great day, guys. Peace. Bye.